Welcome to the Manifestation Bay podcast. My name is Katherine Zinkina, and I'm a manifestation expert, master mindset coach, and multiple seven-figure entrepreneur. I'm obsessed with helping you achieve everything that you once thought was impossible. If you're looking to massively up-level your life, your finances, your relationships, your productivity and success, then you have come to the right place. My goal in this podcast is to help you see the infinite potential within yourself to be, do, and have anything that your heart desires. Think of this podcast as your weekly dose of mindset development to help you maximize who you are and where you're going. Leave it to me to provide you with the tools, the resources, the strategies, and teachings that you need to manifest a reality wilder than your wildest dreams. I know we're about to have so much fun together, so thank you so much for pushing play today, and now let's begin. Hey, gorgeous souls, and welcome back to the podcast. So the podcast you're about to listen to today comes from a free challenge that I have decided to host on my Instagram this week. It is a four-day faith challenge where I am teaching you and encouraging you to transmute your fear into faith during these uncertain times. There is no opt-in, there are no emails, there are no sales, just pure free content to help you stay grounded, calm, and collected throughout this coronavirus pandemic and beyond, because boy, do we need it. Though the audio quality may not be the best, as I already forgot to plug in my microphone on day one, the content is here to stay on the podcast for as long as you need to really reconnect with yourself let go of your fears and worries, and come back to the essence of who you truly are, a spiritual, high vibrational being in human form, a light worker for yourself and for others. Some of the practices we go into in these next upcoming episodes are best done while following along with me. So if you aren't yet following my Instagram at at manifestationbabe, I have the video recordings in my IGTV section so that you can follow along. I hope that you guys are all staying healthy, staying safe, and may you find the peace that you deserve in these next upcoming episodes. Remember that life is a game and we are playing the game by keeping our vibration high. You get to choose your thoughts. You get to choose your beliefs. You get to choose your feelings. With that, let's dive right in. Hi, gorgeous babes, and welcome back to day two of our faith challenge. So today, I really don't know what we're doing. Um, I'm doing things differently in this challenge where I literally don't have any notes. Um, I don't have a plan, and I am 100% just using, hello, hello there, husband, See, we have no plan. I had to <laughs> I had to rearrange my office because um, yesterday I was sitting by a window and the noise coming out from the construction sites all around my neighborhood are just like right. It feels like it's right next to the window. So for those of you who heard like a fan or something, I saw a couple comments. I apologize. I moved away from the window this time. I flipped everything around. This is a wall that you don't normally see. So now we're facing another direction. So hopefully the noise is better. Um, (laughs) And I also hooked up a microphone this time. So for those of you who are listening to the podcast, hopefully the sound is better. But I also recommend that if you are listening to the podcast to go and watch the videos because the exercises that I'm going to take you guys through, I actually want you to see me doing them because we're going to go a little bit more into tapping today. And it's kind of difficult to explain what's going on via audio of how to tap on your body in order to activate that faith in order to release those negative emotions, in order to transmute that fear into faith. It's so much easier if you actually see me doing it. So just my recommendation. However, you're still going to get good stuff while you're listening. And of course, we're going to do a meditation today, um, which I'm so excited about because it's really around global healing. And with that, you can just listen to the audio. So with that being said, how are you guys doing today? Do you feel a little bit better today than um, yesterday. Who's the guy? The guy is my husband. (laughs) Um, (laughs) 
<laughs> he doesn't normally walk in here when I'm live streaming. But you know what? I'm still in my pajamas, you guys. So we're just going to keep it cash here. Um, yay. I love you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, and your segment just ended and I come on Insta and boom, you're on live. Are you guys feeling better today? How would you say the difference is between yesterday and today? And it's totally okay if you still feel, yeah, some of you might be feeling worse and that's okay. That's okay because the tapping that we're going to do today before we go into the meditation is really going to help you elevate your vibration, okay? And we're going to do that today through gratitude. And when you invite gratitude in your life, you guys, it is physically impossible to hold on to two vibrations at the same time. So when you hold on to the vibration of gratitude and all that you are grateful for, regardless of what your circumstances look like, and I know we're all in different positions here. I know we're all in different locations. We have different struggles. We have different challenges, you know. However, gratitude, when you invite that vibration into your life, it is very hard to feel fear. It's very hard to feel uncertain. It's very hard to feel worried. You know, emotions are just vibrations and we control how we feel through our thoughts, right? So how we feel comes from the thoughts that we're choosing to tune into or we're choosing to think. And the more you focus on a thought, the more it grows and grows and grows until it develops into a feeling, right? Eventually thoughts and feelings in combination develop into beliefs, right? So if you are feeling a certain way, just know that there is a thought behind it and you can always shift that thought. And I want to help you today shift that thought into gratitude and also really anchor that into your body. I know that the EFT yesterday was super relieving for you guys. It released a lot. I saw you guys mentioning the numbers going from a seven to a three, some of you even a 10 to a one. And so really, really cool stuff was shifted. And so I want to help you really anchor that gratitude into your body so that any moment this week, you can just come back to what you are grateful for and feel those feelings so that you can overpower the fears, the worries, and the doubts that you're feeling. So with that being said, what are you guys grateful for? I want you to just list it out. And the more that we can list out, the higher the vibration. Okay. So for me, for instance, guys, I am so freaking grateful for my home right now. I am so grateful for warm pajamas. I'm super grateful for my blanket. I'm super grateful for internet. Like, can you guys imagine going through this without a fucking internet connection? I think we would struggle 10 times worse, right? I just, I can't imagine not connecting with you guys. I can't imagine like not watching um, something on Netflix to kind of lift me up and inspire me. I can't imagine not being connected to podcasts right now. I just cannot imagine. I'm so grateful for the internet connection. I'm so grateful for my husband. I'm so grateful for my health right now because my health is in a good place. And I know that there's a lot of people around the world where their health is not in a good place. Um, I'm really grateful for my biocharger. I'm really grateful for meditation. Really grateful for all these incredible healing modalities like uh, EFT, tapping, Um, I'm super grateful for my computer, my phone. I'm super grateful for the food that I do have in my kitchen right now. I'm grateful for the fact that restaurants are still delivering in Los Angeles so that Brennan and I can have access to fresh food. We try not to buy like fresh fruits and vegetables for our, you know, refrigerator and freezer and cupboard just in case like we're actually stuck and things are going to go bad. So we really went for the non-perishables. However, while restaurants are still open for takeout, um, not for dine-in, but for takeout, I'm just so grateful for the people who are out there, first of all, delivering this food, for the restaurant workers who are making this food. I'm so grateful for medical professionals. My best friend is an emergency medicine doctor, and she's out there on the field right now, like helping people. Um, I'm just so, so grateful for the people who are risking their lives, you know, like the garbage men and the construction workers outside right now who are building all kinds of houses and things around me. Like they're just, they're out there, they're risking their lives, you know, they're risking their lives because they need money and they're risking their lives, especially the medical professionals, they're helping us, right? So there's just so much to be grateful for. 
grateful for this community. Yes, guys, I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you showing up here. I'm so grateful for you um, offering yourself as a light worker to help lift the vibration of this planet because God knows the planet needs it right now. Yeah, we all got, we've got to love and support one another. Yeah, husband, fur babies, ability to move my body. Oh my God, yes, yeah, sunshine, friends, family, clients supporting me, still internet, water, food, heat, electricity. Yes, heat and electricity, so important. Like, thank God we can cook our food and heat our water. And whatever it is that you have access to, music. Oh my God, can you imagine going through this without music? The fact that we're able to have dance parties, it's all perspective that matters. Yes, and the law of relativity, which is one of the 12 laws of the universe that I work with, that I study, that I work with, and that I teach, is that challenges are inevitable. But it is your perspective that determines how you're going to work through it, right? So if challenges are inevitable, then it comes down to your relationship with this challenge. Are you going to look at this challenge as the end of the world, the end of your life, the end of your dreams? Or are you going to look at this challenge as the start of something new? Something new can birth through this. I am so grateful for the time that I have right now, you guys. I have recently enrolled myself into a year-long program, a year-long coaching certification to really brush up on my coaching skills and and figure out more ways that I can really serve you guys and help you guys. And something that I want to offer is more uh, one-on-one services because I'm really missing that. I really miss my one-on-one clients. So I want to become like this master coach that can help anyone. And I'm really excited about that. And then also offer you guys like weekly Um, coaching on here on Instagram where I bring you guys on here live with me and that we do coaching sessions, maybe some coaching sessions for the podcast and stuff like that. So I'm really grateful right now for the time that I have to be able to do that. I'm so grateful for the time I have right now to read all the books that have been sitting on my bookshelf, that have been sitting by my bed that I have not yet had time to read. Now I have the time to read right? There is time now to work on projects that my team and I just haven't had time for. And now it's like, wait a second, you guys, we have the time. Why don't we dive into this? I'm so grateful for time. It's all relativity. That's why it's called the law of relativity. It's all relative. It all depends on your perspective. And if you want to change your perspective, all you got to do is change those thoughts. How you think about your challenges determines how you feel about your challenges. And how you feel about your challenges determines the actions that you take around those challenges, right? And the actions that you take in spite of the challenges then determines the results that you get, okay? And I am strongly believe, as, as well as many people, that this too shall pass. And what you do right now about it is going to create and determine your future. So you can come out of here 10 times stronger, very productive, having had created beauty in your life in spite of it, having had really reconnected with yourself, really aligned with your higher self in the process, Or you can come out of here just like, you know, you could go through this just panicking and chaotic and fearful and feel like shit and induce self-suffering and not get anything done, not create anything. And then you come out of here. Yeah, it passed. But now you, you kind of have to like start over. Right. You didn't really learn the lessons that perhaps the universe is throwing your way. And I think that this is a mass lesson. I think that we're all getting one big lesson all at the same time, and it matters what we do with it, okay? Visualization is key right now, you guys, and that's really what the meditation today is about. It's really a visualization meditation, and I want to share with you guys how I actually use this meditation to send unconditional love and healing to the planet every single day, but also how I do it in my business where I send unconditional love and healing to my students, to you guys, all of my followers, you know, anyone who ever comes across my content, I infuse everything that I do with this love. And all I do is I just visualize what I'm doing and the intention goes through my visualization. And it is no secret that this is how I'm able to grow my business and have been able to grow my business so quickly is because I am just such a big believer of energy. And I know that the more beautiful energy I put out there, the more beautiful energy I'll get in return. 
So whatever you guys listed for gratitude, okay, let's let's make this practical. Whatever you listed for gratitude, I want to turn into a tapping script. However, the way that I'm going to be leading this, and first of all, let me rewind for a second. If you don't know what the hell I'm about to do, go back to day one of the challenge, okay? It's on my feed. It's on my IGTV Um, I would say go back to the last podcast, but if you're listening to the podcast, you probably can't see what I'm doing. So it's imperative that you guys go to the IGTV and get a rundown of what I'm doing and then follow along with me. However, if even if you don't know what I'm doing, you can just follow along with me and just like just just trust that it works. Right. And for those of you who do remember what we were doing, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. However, this time I'm not going to be talking out the full sentences. I want you to fill in the blanks, okay? I'm going to fill in the blanks inside my own head where we're just going to be doing gratitude. So we're going to be doing, I am grateful for, and then I want you to out loud fill in the blanks wherever you are, okay? So I'm really grateful for food. I'm grateful for my partner. I'm grateful for my animals. I'm grateful for heat. I'm grateful for electricity. Whatever is coming through you, I want you to turn it into this gratitude rampage that we're going to do together. And the process of tapping is going to anchor that into your body. We're going to bring it and ground it into our bodies, Okay, so the setup uh, statement this time is not even though I'm feeling anxious, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. This time it's just going to be like I choose to feel gratitude and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Okay, so let's start with the karate chop point. I choose to feel grateful right now and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I choose to feel grateful right now. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I choose to feel grateful right now. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I am grateful for, remember, fill in the blank. I am grateful for. 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 for. Remember, it doesn't matter what side you do it on, which hand you use. As long as you're tapping on the points. I am grateful for. 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 for. I am grateful for. I am grateful for. I am grateful for. I am grateful for. And I am so, 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 so grateful for. Okay. Take a deep breath in and release. Releasing all tension from your jaw, your mouth, your shoulders, your neck. Take another deep breath in. Letting go of your stomach. Another deep breath in. Loosening up your body. Okay. Now I know we didn't do scales is because we use this for a different intention. However, in general, I'm super curious. How do you guys feel right now? Do you feel fucking good? And how easy is it to hold the vibration of gratitude when you give yourself enough things to focus on? And how hard is it right now to get pissed or angry or feel sad or anxious or worried, you know, in this state, like you feel so good and you have access to this all the time. 
And something else that came to me as we were doing this, I was like thinking like, wow, you could do your affirmations by tapping. That's really cool. Um, I know I use, uh, you know, affirmations in the sense of like when I work through limiting beliefs using EFT, you go through the process of listing all your limiting beliefs and all these negative affirmations that you keep affirming to yourself that aren't true and a bunch of bullshit. However, your brain decided to believe that they were true. And then you go through the process and you just flip it and you start telling yourself affirmations and try holding on to your limiting beliefs after that. Good. Gratitude is actually really easy for me all the time. Good, 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 good. And that probably reflects very beautifully in your life too. If gratitude is something that's very easy for you, you probably live a very happy and fulfilling life. Okay. So guys, now that we feel good, okay, because it's important to feel good when we come to this meditation, I'm going to lead you guys through a meditation and all you got to do is really just follow along. Okay. And this is going to be a visualization uh, meditation. So as I share with you guys what you should be visualizing. Just see it in your mind's eye, aka inside your own mind, um, however it comes to you. Okay. We're all going to see planet earth differently. We're all going to see your loved ones differently. We're all going to see lights differently. We're all going to feel different things. The point is not perfection. The point is intention. Now, meditation is typically a very receiving state. However, I have learned that you can come to a meditation to give and to receive. So by receiving means that, you know, when you pray or set intentions, you are asking something of the universe. And when you are quieting your mind and sitting in a meditation, you are receiving, okay? You're receiving from the universe, whether it's a download, an intuitive nudge, um, an intuitive hit, or a suggestion, or an idea, or something just pops up where you're like, oh my God, that's the answer to my prayer. Meditation can also be used for giving, where you basically come into meditation to center yourself, but ultimately you're centering yourself so that you can go into a visualization or you can go into intention setting, or you can go into gratitude, or you can send love and light to people. Okay. But it always starts with sending love and light to yourself. So that's how I'm going to start this meditation is it's going to have a mixture of um, different meditations that I do. This one's really going to involve like first cleaning and cleansing your aura and bringing light into your body so that then you can give it out to other people. And the more people that do this, if you guys can please, please, please share this when we're done. I don't know if you can share this while we're live. I don't know if you can tag your friends. I have no idea how this works. Um, but if you can share this live and maybe perhaps even just share with whoever you're sharing, like the minute and the seconds at which we start this meditation, I believe that the more people that do this and come together to do this, the better the healing, the the faster the healing, the grander the healing, the more of a miracle that this creates because guys, people, animals, earth needs this right now. Okay. Yeah. Projecting energy. Okay. So all you got to do is just wherever you are, hopefully you're not driving or walking or anything like that. Hopefully you're sitting. And if you don't have time right now to do that, just come back later when you do. It's going to take no longer than 10 minutes and you can do this every single day and you guys have this recording forever. Okay. And those of you listening on the podcast, same goes for you. Um, all you got to do is just find a place and follow along with my voice. All right. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and find a comfortable position, whether it is cross-legged, feet flat on the ground, maybe you're lying down. However is comfortable for you, that's what matters, is your comfort right now. If you really, really want to maximize this, I recommend you sit with your back straight up. However, the position of your feet doesn't really matter. Um, Put your palms up on your lap so that the top of your hands are on your lap and the palms of your hands are facing upward in a receiving position. Because right now we are going to be receiving all of the beautiful divine energy from the universe and from Mother Earth that we could possibly harness. And just remember that this energy is unlimited and by you taking it in, it does not take away from anybody else and you can have as much as you need whenever you need. This energy is completely limitless. Whenever you're ready, take a nice deep breath in and release. And please do this two more times at your own pace. Taking a nice deep breath in and releasing. 
Got to loosen my pants, you guys. <laughs> Take another deep breath in. And release. Now I want you to bring your attention deep down into the core or center of the earth. And I want you to envision a beautiful orange reddish glow coming from Mother Earth and beginning its ascent towards you. See that energy rise, rise and rise until it hits the bottom of your feet. And as it hits the bottom of your feet, see that energy rising up through your feet, up your ankles, up your shins and calves, through your knees, up your thighs, until it hits your very first chakra, your root chakra. Chakra that is right below your tailbone region. And when that light hits your root chakra, I want you to envision a beautiful, deep red glow. And as it hits your root chakra, I want you to see that chakra spinning and activating. And it can spin in either direction, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. I want you to just intuitively envision whatever feels right for you. Because whichever direction it spins, it either means you need more energy in that space or you have excess energy. And this meditation will help you release some of that excess energy, bringing you back into balance. So don't try to get this right. Just envision it spinning either to the right or spinning to the left. And then see this energy rising up next to your sacral chakra the chakra that rules over your creativity and your reproductive organs. So kind of see it below your belly button, between the root chakra and your belly button. And then see as Earth's energy hits this chakra, see it glow orange, a beautiful orange, and see it spin either clockwise or counterclockwise energizing or releasing excess energy, whatever you intuitively need. And then see the earth's energy continue to rise up to your solar plexus chakra, which is right below your diaphragm, above your belly button, below your lungs, below your diaphragm, however you choose to map it out. And see it glow a beautiful, beautiful yellow color. And as Earth's energy connects with the chakra, see it spin either clockwise or counterclockwise, activating it, energizing it, or releasing energy. And then I want you to see Earth's energy rising again towards your heart, activating your heart chakra. And once you see that energy connect, I want you to see it glow a beautiful, bright green light. Once again, spinning in any direction that feels intuitively right for you. Now allow this energy to sit here right at your heart chakra. And I want you to envision a beautiful, bright, white light sitting right above your crown chakra, right above your head, maybe three inches above. And I want you to see this light extending up into the universe, rising higher and higher and higher and higher until it connects with source energy. However high you need to go, whatever you need to feel that's intuitively right to you, Whatever feels like that connection, allow it to happen. And that what I want you to do is I want you to take on Source's energy and move it through your own connection back above your head, hitting your crown chakra. And as Source energy hits the top of your head, activating your crown chakra, 
see that crown chakra glow a beautiful violet light. And then see this energy activating your crown chakra and either spinning it to the right or to the left. And then bring this universal energy down into your third eye and see it activate with a beautiful indigo light. Once again, moving lower into your throat chakra and see your throat chakra activate with a beautiful light blue or turquoise light. And then moving down into your heart chakra, merging with Earth's energy. And as it merges with Earth's energy, I want you to see your heart just growing in size and glowing any beautiful color that you can imagine, any color that you need right now. The color that I am choosing is pink because that's what represents unconditional love for me. However, the color might be intuitively different for all of us. And as you see your heart chakra glowing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger, all of a sudden it bursts outwards. And as it bursts outwards, it go, all the energy radiates above, below, to your sides. And essentially what it does is it forms a beautiful bubble of light all around you. See this beautiful energy covering your body completely and encapsulating it in the light of this color. Whether it is pink, violet, orange, green, whatever color speaks to you right now. And see yourself sitting in this bubble. This bubble is now here with you for the rest of the day. This bubble is here to protect you. This bubble is here to keep you in the zone of gratitude. This bubble is here to remind you that you are constantly surrounded with light. Feel how good it feels to sit in this bubble, knowing that you are always guided, you are always loved, and you are always protected. Now that you have sourced all the energy that you could possibly need into your body, you recognize that this energy is so limitless that you cannot help yourself but give it away. You cannot help yourself but to spread your light, this beautiful light that you have within you all throughout the planet to every single human being, every single animal, every single plant, every single spirit. Anybody who needs this energy is welcome to receive it. Feel the intensity of this beautiful energy, this healing energy, this warm energy that can't help itself but be shared. And you can't help yourself but want to give it to all of the souls who are willing to receive it. Now when you're ready, rub your palms together to create some energy, create some friction. And then extend those palms outward away from you. And I want you to envision either a globe, a map of the world, a community of souls, whatever your personal symbol is that represents the entire planet, planet Earth, Maybe it's the entire universe that you want to send love to. Whatever appears in front of you is divinely right for you and it is divinely perfect. So don't worry about what image comes to you. For me, I see a beautiful globe in front of me. And for you, it could be different and that is okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to envision source energy forming a beautiful column of light coming up from the heavens down into your body. And as it reaches your body, it goes through your body, through your heart, out of your arms, out of your hands, and surrounds whatever you see in front of you with a beautiful light of your favorite color. 
Now again, the color I'm imagining is pink, but for you, it could be any color that feels divinely right for you. There is no good or bad color. Whatever you associate unconditional love with is the color that is right for you. Now see that light penetrating through the planet, filling up the hearts, the souls, the spirits of every single person, animal, plant, tree, flower, river, lake, ocean on this planet. Know and trust that you alone, connected with Source, has the power to send global healing across the planet. And with your intention and with your visualization, I want you to imagine that every single person that you're sending your energy to, and remember, it's not your energy, so be very careful with sending out your own personal energy. Make sure you stay connected to sources you're doing this so that you are sending limitless, bountiful, abundant energy to the planet that never, ever runs out and is available for all, is available for us to access whenever it is that we need. Now, I want you to see that this energy is filling up the hearts of all the people that you send it to. It is bringing them healing. It is bringing them peace. It is bringing them abundance, prosperity, happiness, joy, fulfillment, inner peace, serenity, miracles, and healing. Sit for just a moment and just visualize whatever comes through you. Whomever you feel needs the most healing, whatever emotions or frequencies that you want to send to this planet that you know is for the highest good of all involved, go ahead and visualize that and go ahead and send it. Know and trust that you have limitless, unconditional love to send. Know and trust that you are guided, you are protected, and you are massively rewarded for sharing your light along the way. And when you feel like you have finished, put your hands back on your lap with your palms facing forward and ask the universe for anything that you would like to receive right now. Whether it is clarity, healing, an answer to a prayer, an answer to a question you've been asking, Anything that you want to receive, remember, again, you are accessing infinite intelligence. You're accessing source. You're accessing the creator of all that is. There is no limit to how much you can accept. There is no limit to how much you can receive. Why not take this moment to receive after you have so generously given Feel into that gratitude that we created earlier. 
Feel into the unconditional love that is available to you. Feel into that divine guidance that you always have access to. Feel into that connection that you have 24-7 around the clock between you, Mother Earth, and Source. Take a few more deep breaths, really anchoring and locking this in, really releasing anything else that no longer serves you, taking the opportunity to inhale any more light that you feel that you need to receive. And one more deep, deep breath in. And release. And whenever you are ready, no rush, no rush at all, but you can open your eyes and come back into the room and come back into this live stream. Because I don't know about you, but every time I do this, I float around to some other dimension and I have to always come back into my body. Now, yes, this is going to be available forever. Now, um, just a quick thing. Actually, if you are someone who tends to leave their body and tends to kind of live their life in the clouds, um, as I tend to do, I just want to take a moment, just do a quick grounding. And how I like to ground myself very, very quickly is I like to picture Mother Earth's core, bring that beautiful, bright, reddish, orangey, yellow glow up through my body. And then I like to bring it up to my crown chakra. So that way I'm rooted and I'm grounded with that energy so that I can come back into my body. And then something else I like to do is kind of like tap myself, shake myself up, wake myself up, um, jump around, remind myself that I'm here, I'm grounded, I'm safe, I'm connected, whatever it is that I need to hear in order to be grounded. How do you guys feel after that? Now I feel dizzy. Nina, you might need a ground. So just close your eyes real quick. Envision Mother Earth's energy just coming up through you and connecting with your crown chakra. Okay, so every single chakra up to your crown chakra. And that'll kind of like bring you back into your body. It's kind of hard to see your uh, your comments today because I'm wearing this very obnoxious cheetah print uh, pajama set. And so it's like blending into my my outfit. Um, Let me see. Yes, guys, it's going to be available. It's going to be on the IGTV. It's going to be on the replay. It's going to be on the podcast, um, everywhere that I can post it. I felt tingly. I love you too, Henry. Oh my God, Henry. I got stories. Actually, I'm going to send you a voice note after this. Like this story is going to blow your mind. Henry and I share the wildest stories with one another. And every time I listen to him, I'm like, all right, I need a story like that. Like universe. I would like something crazy to happen to me too (laughs) in the best way possible. Um, I feel like I'm floating, but I also feel very sleepy when I meditate. That's okay. That's because your soul is kind of like leaving your body to do its work. And then it's important to bring it back into your body when you're done. Yeah. Bringing in compassion, 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 compassion. Compassion is folded inside of that unconditional love. So we have sent compassion to ourselves and to the world around us. You guys are amazing, 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 beautiful souls. Hi, Zach. Oh my God, all my friends are here. Um, Okay, you guys, come back to this if you ever need it. I'm creating this challenge. You know, this is like completely free. There are no opt-ins. There are no sales at the end. I'm not offering anything to you at the very end. This is for you. This is a gift for you to have. So please come back to the the EFT from yesterday, the tapping. Come back to the gratitude tapping. Come back to this meditation. You have this to keep forever. Um, And then tomorrow, we're going to be doing more. So again, I am coming here with no plans. I have no idea what I'm going to say, what we're going to do. I just, before I go live, I'm like, okay, what does everyone need today? What is my intuition telling me? Um, I make sure to connect myself before I come on here, but we'll see what we're going to do tomorrow and we're going to see what we're going to do Friday. But whatever it is, it's for us to transmute fear into faith because when we feel faith, 
when we feel compassion, when we're connected to unconditional love, when we're connected to gratitude, it is impossible to feel fear. And the world has plenty of fear. It does not need more of it. Okay. There's no need to contribute to this fear consciousness that is all across our planet right now. It is important for us to balance it out and bring that pendulum, swing that pendulum back into love, back into the light. Okay. I love you guys so freaking much. I hope you have an amazing day. Please go out there. Please do the work that you are divinely put here on this planet to do. If you're a coach, please keep coaching people. If you're a healer, please keep healing people. If you are an influencer, please keep influencing people to be the best versions of themselves and do what's right and do what helps us all. Um, If you are a medical professional, thank you so much for the work that you do. Whatever it is that you do, it is here to serve humanity on some deep level. Um, Whether it is or not that you see it that way, I believe that we're all serving each other. And I believe that that life is a spiritual game, okay? And that we're all spiritually connected. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. If you absolutely loved what you heard today, be sure to share it with me by leaving a review on iTunes so that I can keep the good stuff coming your way. If you aren't already following me on social media, come soak up the extra inspiration on Instagram by following at Manifestation Babe or visiting my website at manifestationbabe.com. I love and adore you so much and can't wait to connect with you in the next episode. In the meantime, go out there and manifest some magic.